Self-driving cars, should they really be the future of driving? Are they safe? Are they not? I don't know. Today we'll be going through the real life driving conditions, the slowing down of response time, and the price and mechanical upkeep. Snow is dangerous to drive in anyway, depending on how much is there or how much is not or how comfortable you are with it or without it. And that always brings ice along with it. And hazardous driving conditions leave the road unsafe for people to drive in general, but let alone your car doing it by itself. It clouds sensors. And if your car can't see, can you see? Like what's, if your car can't see, you can't see, is it really safe to even be out there, let alone drive yourself? Damage can be done to the car itself, and if it's not running the right way, it can't keep you safe the whole time and get you where you need to go. Human response time. Everybody has it, and everybody's is different. And over time, if your car's driving for itself, how, is it, how are you supposed to remember how to drive the right way? It'll gather more response time as you let your car drive for you. And then when you have to get in a regular car, if you ever do, then are you really safe out on the road with everybody else? And driving is something kids look forward to as a kid. And then if your car does it for yourself, is that really something your kid needs to learn how to do? And you, how are kids supposed to bond with their parents when they learn how to drive or anybody who teaches them how to drive? And pricing is outrageous of those cars, but they're so high tech and they're new and everybody wants them and they're very nice to look at but can an average family have one and a regular person working a nine to five job with kids or a family and is it okay for them to have that luxury and they could probably fit it into their price range but is it convenient for them to have to pay more for a car instead of for groceries or kids sports or fun activities and your car payment every month will be higher so you have less money to kind of move around with and if something goes wrong you're already budgeting in more money for a car payment then you have to add in more for something that needs to be fixed because if you don't have um, if it doesn't function correctly then you will if it doesn't function correctly then it doesn't you can't put that off because it's not keeping you safe or anybody else safe who is in the car or around the car with you and as we went over the real life driving conditions the slowing down of response time and the price and mechanical upkeep i hope you think more about what our next step to modern transportation is